Well, here we go. It's the beginning of the Premier League season, and it might be. I'm not sure about it, but this could be our final ever season of this save. Hello and welcome to Club 4 Part 9 of the Globe Explorers. In today's episode we shall be playing our first two Premier League fixtures of the Premier League season and they will be against Man City and Bournemouth. So since the last episode we have done literally nothing. We haven't done any more transfers. So let's get straight into our first game of the season. It's a Manchester Derby against Man City. So... A pretty difficult first game to be um, <laughs> getting underway with. So let's hope for a uh, a positive result. I'll take a draw, but I would prefer a win on the first day of the season. So the lineup will be Seaman in goal, a back four of Hakimi, Militao, Inacio, Guindo. He could be a wing back on attack. Then we've got Esposito at the base of the midfield. Then we've got Manu and Caicedo. We're just going to swap those two around. Then we've got Victor Roque on the right. Rashford on the left. Here we are. We are still trying to sell. Hopefully somebody does make a bid of 31 million. Then we've got Rasmus Hoyland rounded up the lineup up front. Come on, lads. Let's get a big old win, please. Come on. I beg you. I'm sure we've got a strongest squad by um, Man City by now. Uh, I hope we do. Come on, lads. Come on, we've got a corner. If we can get an early goal, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Hoyland was lurking, but he didn't get his head onto it. Rashford hit the post. Rashford has hit the post in the first minute of the game. So, so close to an opening goal. Come on. we. I know we're going to beat them. We've got another corner here. Rocky is going to whip it in. Come on. Rashford. Cross it. Rocky. Oh, we've hit the crossbar now. Oh. We've hit the post and the crossbar in the space of about a couple minutes. That's absolutely unbelievable, that. It's a good start. I'll take it. But we need, they need to be on target, boys. It's no good for us to hit in the woodwork. We need to score them. Come on. 25 minutes left until half time. Still nil nil. Man City haven't had um, any chances yet. Not, certainly not on a highlight. Come on. Inacio plays the ball forward to Manu. Rashford. Oh, then. Come on. So close. We are. We're, we're getting there. We will get a goal this game. Whether or not we'll get one in the first half, I don't know. Seaman. Inacio, get the ball upfield. Manu, Guido, come on. Come on, Guido. Yes, that's not bad. Rashford, go on. Go on, Rashford. Come on, somebody. Make a tackle. Oh, Esposito, that's a good interception, that. Hakimi, cross it. Come on. Rocky. Rocky puts the ball into the back of it to make it 1 0 to Manchester United. That's absolutely fantastic at 20 minutes. Left into our time, and we are in the lead. Come on. Man City, may I just say, have not had a shot yet. I'm going to take that as a positive. Hopefully they never have a shot. Hopefully. I doubt it. I'm sure they'll have a shot, at least in the second half. But at the moment, we're, I think we're absolutely rollicking them. In my opinion, I mean, we only won them up, but we are smashing them in terms of the match stats because they haven't had a shot. They don't look threatening at all. Haaland, yeah, Haaland's, Haaland's still on holiday. <laughs> Come on, Doyle, Ugarte, Aspiria. I might have spoken a little bit too soon. Uh, Doyle, Ugarte, oh no, he must be offside. Haaland must be off. Or, or the other guy, Aspirilla. One of them was offside, surely. Yes, goal has been disallowed. Well done, lads. Brilliant defensive play. Still zero shots on target. Oh, I can't, I, can't, I can't imagine Man City going a whole game without a single shot. 
or single shot on target. That'd be absolutely ridiculous. On the other hand, we do need to get a second goal. Coy then, come on, can you get that? No, you don't. Bamba, face the ball to Ugarte. We'll give it a couple more minutes and we will make our first stage of substitutions. Gavardio, place the ball to Ugarte. Foden, come on. Oh, can I say the river? He nearly got the interception or the tackle in. Harland is through. Harland scores. Not offside. Not going to go to VAR. Clearly kept himself on. <sighs> that's, all, that's all it takes. One chance for Man City, then they score. Got to be better. Right, we are going to make a couple of subs. Rasmus Hoyland not, not having his best game, so we will get on James Edwards. He can be a advanced forward. Roque is going to come off. No, maybe not. Shinkano has just got back from Brazil under 23 duty, so we'll leave him off for now. Rashford is going to make way for David Strang. He could be a, a winger. And I think for the final change at the moment will be Cristobal Lopez who's going to come on for Hakimi. He could be a, a defensive fullback. Come on. 25 minutes left of the game. Still on all. Can we get a... Second goal, please. We are going to drop some encouragement with 15 minutes left to play. Come on. Can we do it? Can we do it? I'll take a draw. Don't get me wrong. It won't be a bad result, but Mad City have only had one shot, one on target. We should be winning. Come on. Let's go attacking. Come on. One all. That's not bad for Manchester Derby. And the first game of the season, that's... I'll, I'll absolutely take that, but... When we next play Man City, I want to batter them. I mean it, batter them. It's okay. I, 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 it's not, yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. But it's not bad, so let's hope we do get back to winning ways when we win. Against Bournemouth. The lineup for our match against Bournemouth will be Seaman in goal, a back four of Hakimi, Nasio, Mipiu, and Guindo, a midfield trio of Goose, Kaiseido, and Marangon. Then we've got Shinkano on the right, Rashford on the left, and James Edwards up front. Come on, lads. Let's get a win. We should hopefully beat be beating Bournemouth. Obviously, if we don't beat Bournemouth, something must be going wrong, but hopefully we do smash them, I hope. But you never know with this game. Come on, let's get a win. Hopefully, at least uh, 2 3 now, I reckon. I hope. Maybe a bit more, if we're lucky. Come on. Can we at least get one goal before half time, please? Or a couple of goals? Come on. Can we get a goal within the next 10 minutes, please? Come on. We've got 20 minutes left into our time. We've got a corner here. Come on. Chicano has got the ball. Rashford shoots. Ah, oh, that's a brilliant goal for Marcus Rashford. Absolute superb. Absolute hit that like a bullet. Absolute, absolute ridiculous shot that. Absolute superb. Brilliant. One new up. We have 15 minutes left to play of half to, up till half time. Come on, lads. Can we get this one cleared, please? Oh, my good God. That was um, absolutely terrible to that. We should have done much better with that, but somehow we just didn't clear it. We had chances to clear it, but I'm not sure what the goalkeeper was doing or what our defence was doing. That's absolutely unacceptable. Come on, let's get back in the lead before I did it before half time, but... There is the second half still, still to come. Come on. Nope. <sighs> what all? We've been unlucky so far. Let's keep it up, lads. Keep it up. Hopefully the second goal will come. Hopefully. Come on. Edwards. Oh, for Edwards is going to get the ball. Kaisedo plays the ball to Shinkano. Come on. Edwards. Well done, James Edwards. That's his first goal for Man United. Or it might be disallowed. Come on. 
Yes, the goal has been awarded and that is James Edwards' first ever goal for Man United away from home against Bournemouth. Absolutely superb. Guido plays the ball to Rashford. Morangorn so close, loses ball just before he got a touch onto it. Very close. Imerdo Lazio. Oh no, oh no. Curtis Jones, the former Nottingham Forest player. Comes back to bite me in the bum. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's absolutely terrible. Right. Substitution time, I think. I think Caicedo is going to make way for Ronaldo. Guido off for... Who's our other left back? Sanchez. Where is he? He's, he must be, he's not on the bench. Right, we'll leave him off that for now. Can Mapu play left back? Sort of, not really. Uh, I think we'll get off Gene Carlo for Victor Roque. And we'll get off Hakimi for Cristobal Lopez. And he could be a full back attack. Can he play as an attacking wing back? Not really. We'll have him as a defensive wing back. Why not? Come on, lads. Half an hour left to play. Can we? Can we get a third goal, please? We are going to go attacking. Because I do want this third goal. Oh, so that's a good free kick from Rashford. I'm not sure if it was on target or not. But it was close. Bazunu whips the ball upfield. Only as far as Mipiu. Come on. Let's get the ball upfield. Goose. Place the ball to Ronaldo. Edwards. Come on. Victor Roque. Ronaldo. Come on. Come on. Roque. Cross the ball in. Roque. Ronaldo. Shoots. Rashford! Yes, well done, Marky boy. Marcus Rashford is there for his second goal of the day and with 20 minutes left to play, we are 3 2 up. Come on, just hold on to this lead, please. I beg you, come on. Just hold on. Goose, if we could get a fourth goal, that would do us the world of good. Goose, place the ball to Rocky Edwards, is there? It was puts it wide, but it was offside. Come on, lads. Just hold on to the lead. We've got 10 minutes left to play. Roque, plays the ball to Marango. Rashford is there. Through this hat trick. That's absolutely beautiful. It's a perfect hat trick. Right foot, left foot, and a header. Absolute superb. Come on. 10 minutes left to play. I don't think... I don't think we're going to bottle a two-goal lead. I don't, I don't think that's possible. Come on. <sighs> yes, get in there. Get in there, baby. Get in. Come on. Absolutely superb performance. May have conceded two goals, but we scored four. That's all that matters. We got the win. <sighs> Absolute brilliant, that was. I'll take that all day long. Come on. Absolutely brilliant. I'm not sure. I'm not sure when we're going to come back in the next episode because we've got the Champions League campaign beginning soon. So I think in the next episode, we will start our Champions League campaign. If you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more Denver Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.